Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up song requests for your live stream using Streamlabs chatbot. Song requests are a great way to keep your viewers engaged and interacting with your live stream by allowing them to share their favorite music with you. Now, before we begin, I am assuming that you already have Streamlabs chatbot set up and configured for your YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer live stream. If you don't, I'll have a link in the cards in the upper right-hand corner to my video on how to set up and configure Streamlabs chatbot for your live stream. And I'll also have a link in the description down below. So once you're ready to get started, the first thing to do is to open up Streamlabs chatbot. Once Streamlabs chatbot is open, the tab we want to go to over here on the left-hand side is called Song Request. This tab is where you'll be able to see the song that's currently playing, as well as a full list of all the songs that are in your Song Request queue for your stream. So the first thing to do is to turn on Song Request for your live stream, and then go to the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner to open up the Settings window. This is where we're going to configure all the song request settings for your stream. The first drop down menu is going to ask for the request permission, and this is where we're going to set who is allowed to use the exclamation point song request in your live stream. Now, for most streamers, especially smaller ones, I would recommend allowing everybody to use exclamation point song request in your live stream. Like I said earlier, it's a great way to allow your viewers to interact with your stream, but if you're a much larger streamer and maybe you're pulling hundreds or maybe even thousands of viewers, then you might want to set the request permission to subscribers and maybe make song requests a subscriber exclusive feature. Keep in mind too that the roles you'll see in this dropdown menu will be different depending on the platform that you chose for Streamlabs chatbot. Since I chose Twitch, I see Twitch roles here, but if you chose YouTube or Mixer, you'll see different roles. The next drop down menu is going to ask for the skip permission. And this is where we're going to set the permission for people who are allowed to cast a vote to skip the current song in your stream. If you're a streamer, you're no stranger to trolls or jerks in your chat. And there will be people who will try to suggest songs that you probably don't want to listen to and that most people probably won't like. So if there's a song that comes up that a lot of viewers are going to want to vote to skip, then you can set the permission for who's allowed to simply vote to skip the song in your chat. So don't be confused. People who have this role are simply allowed to cast a vote to skip the song. They're not allowed to automatically skip a song when they type exclamation point skip in the chat. The next drop down menu is called veto permission and anyone who can use exclamation point veto in the chat will be automatically able to immediately skip the currently playing song. So I think everyone can agree it doesn't make a lot of sense to allow everyone to immediately skip the song that's currently playing because then like I said with trolls or jerks that come into your chat there will be people who just skip every song until they get to the one that they want to play. So I recommend keeping this permission limited to simply moderators. That way, the people who you trust most in your chat will have the permission to skip the song if it's a troll song or a song that people don't want to hear. Moving on, the max duration slider is where you can set the maximum length of a YouTube video that's allowed to be added to your song request queue. 10 minutes is already a very long time considering the average length of most songs is I would say between three and five minutes. But there are longer songs out there like Stairway to Heaven, for example. So if you want to allow those longer songs and you can adjust your max duration accordingly. For me, I think I'm gonna keep it set to five minutes. Moving down to max Q, this is where you can set the maximum amount of songs that are allowed to sit in the Streamlabs chatbot song request Q to be played in your stream. For me, I see no reason to have this set to anything other than the max. You want the maximum amount of people in your live stream to be able to suggest as many songs as they want. The only downside here is they may have to wait a longer amount of time if there's a lot of viewers in your stream before their song is played. Continuing down, the next drop down menu is gonna ask for true or false for showing video. So earlier when I showed you guys on the main song request screen, the corresponding video for the YouTube song that's being played will be shown here. But if you're somebody who has crappy internet, or maybe you're just simply trying to limit buffer issues for the songs, you can set this to false if you don't want the video to be shown. The next tab is going to ask you what playback quality you want the song to be played in. So again, if you don't have great internet or you're experiencing a lot of buffering, maybe the song is skipping around, then you might want to set this to small, but I recommend that most people will be comfortable at medium. Now the command drop down menu is where you're going to choose what command you want people to type in your chat in order to request a song. By default, it is set to exclamation point song request. So somebody would type exclamation point song request followed by a space and then the YouTube URL or the YouTube ID of the song they want to be played. So both of these do the same thing. They allow viewers to request songs in your live stream. One's just abbreviated exclamation point SR for song requests and one fully spells out song request. For me, I'm going to choose both just so people can use whatever command they're more comfortable with. And for the last drop down menu here in the general section called mode, I would recommend keeping this a dollar sign ID. There's a couple other options here that would allow viewers to simply type exclamation point song request followed by the name of the song they want to be played. But at the off chance that Streamlabs chatbot picks the wrong video or doesn't play the song that people are actually asking for, I would recommend forcing people to actually have the YouTube URL of the song they want to be played or the YouTube ID. In my opinion, it just makes things much more simple and straightforward. These first two checkboxes, I think everybody should check. The first is limit to music categories. So that means that the only videos that are allowed to be added to the queue within Streamlabs chatbot 
will be videos on YouTube that are also within the music category. So people can't recommend just regular gaming videos or a podcast clip or anything other than what you want to use song requests for, which is music. The next checkbox is asking whether or not you want to exclude songs that have more dislikes than likes. So if there's a video on YouTube that's maybe advertised as an actual song, but it's not the actual song once you play the video, that video will more than likely have more dislikes than likes. And so checking this box is a way, again, to prevent against troll songs from being played in your stream. And the last checkbox here is asking whether or not we want to limit song requests to only come from your personal playlist. So if we go back to the main song request screen, over here in the upper right-hand corner, we click on the Import tab. This is where you can create your own playlist for song requests in your stream. So maybe if you stream on YouTube and you want to add a YouTube playlist of only royalty-free or non-copyrighted songs to prevent your stream from getting copyright claimed or shut down, then this might be a great option for you. Or if you're somebody who simply wants to add your own favorite music to your playlist, these will be the songs that you add here that will get automatically played once the queue is emptied for song requests from your viewers. So here you can add individual videos or individual songs, or like I said earlier, official YouTube playlists. And once you've set all your songs in here, don't forget to save it in the upper right-hand corner. Now, if we go back over to settings, we can continue with the song request configuration. The next section is called currency cost, and this is where you can set the amount of stream currency it would cost for a viewer to request a song, skip a song, or veto a song. Now, in order for this section to mean anything, you do have to have the loyalty or currency system set up through Streamlabs Chatbot for your live stream. If you don't, I will have a link in the cards in the upper right-hand corner with my tutorial on how to set up the loyalty system through Streamlabs Chatbot, and I will also have a link in the description down below. So these numbers will really vary depending on how frequently you give your viewers currency. For me, it's one coin for every one minute that they watch the live stream, so I'm going to set the viewer cost to request a song at 10. And what's cool here is you can set different currency costs for different roles in your stream. So maybe you want the average viewer to be charged 10 coins for every song request that gets made, but maybe you want subscribers to be able to request a song absolutely for free. So be sure to tweak these settings to most appropriately match how you have your loyalty system set up. Now here we can set the skip cost, and this is how much it would cost a viewer to cast a vote to skip a song in your stream. Now, I don't recommend making this entirely free because you don't want people just to spam exclamation point skip and skip every song that gets played in your stream, but you also don't want it to cost a crazy amount. So what I'm gonna do is set the skip cost to match the exact same amount to request a song. The last currency cost to set is the veto cost, but since my veto permission is set to only moderators, I don't want moderators to have to shell out their own currency just to skip a song that everybody doesn't want to hear. Moving down to the last section, we have max requests. Here you can set the maximum amount of songs that a viewer is allowed to have in your song request queue. So by default, it's set to two, and again, you can change it depending on certain roles in your stream. So if we had regular viewer Billy come into the live stream, he's only allowed to have two songs in the song request queue that has a max queue of 30. But let's say Timmy comes in, and Timmy's a subscriber to the channel, Timmy's allowed to request five songs to be added to the max queue of 30. So be sure to tweak these depending on what you think is most appropriate for your stream. And the last option here is votes until skip. So this is the minimum amount of viewers that must cast the exclamation point skip vote in order for a song to be automatically automatically skipped if a moderator doesn't want to skip the song. So here, depending on the amount of viewers that you have in your live stream, this will vary, but for most average small streams, I would recommend setting this to three. That would mean that three viewers, regardless of their role in your live stream, must type exclamation point skip in order for a song to be skipped without a veto. So there we go, guys. That's how you set up song request for your live stream through Streamlabs Chatbot. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. This is what we're all about here on the Pro Tutorials channel. Be sure to also follow my social media. Links are in the description down below. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below. But that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.